Over a year ago, I tried the Eversax Olympics Challenge, which was an ultimate test of Rocket League skill, showcasing a series of sections all requiring different skills I've learned over the years. Fast forward to today, and we now have the Eversax Olympics 2, a brand new challenge that's even harder than the original. Players have improved a lot over the past year or so, and to compensate, we have an even bigger beast to conquer. Just like last year, I'm going into this challenge blind to give you guys an authentic first try at the challenge. Each stage either has an attempt limit or time limit, so we might not see all the levels today. Also, a lot of people said they didn't know I had a second channel, so if you want to check that out, I do a lot of variety content over there. Also, be sure to drop a sub, it helps me out a ton. Now let's get into the video, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, let's give this Olympics a try. I'm kind of terrified, because if it's anything like the last one, we're going to be in for a rough time. We have to do flicks first here. We have three attempts, and the score will be the average of the three flicks, which is very different to the ten tries and best score. So every flick now counts. Which is kind of rough, because if you get a bad one, like 5.6, 5, 5 then getting an average is no longer easy. That's a decent flick distance. Okay, 7.46. And that's decent height, too. Hopefully get like a 7. All right, 6.7. I'll take that. Um, pinch the ball on the wall as fast as you can. The distance is calculated once the ball touches the ground. And I have 10 attempts, and it's the best attempt to score for the challenge. 1,500 meters. So it's no longer speed. I'm going to go for the right side. Nice, dude. <laughs> okay, we have, okay, we can't go high. We have to actually just keep within like a certain height. Oh my gosh. That's decent distance. It's 984. Dang, man. These are tough to get like a good consistent speed on. Because you want it high enough, but not so it hits the ceiling. That might be pretty good. Skates under the ceiling, but I don't think it's going to be any higher than my previous score. Seven, 951. Ugh. Two more tries. Decent speed. Could have been a little higher, though. 984. And we hit the ceiling. That's tough. We get 6.6, .6, though. Not a bad score. Uh, you have to dribble the ball without dropping it on the ground. You have 2 minutes and 45 to complete the 10 levels. Every meter you travel will earn you points up to a maximum of 8.5. So 8.5 is two, 2 minutes 45 seconds on the timer, but then if you get any faster, you can go up to 10 out of 10 with 45 seconds left. That is tough. 2 minutes to complete 10 levels. Okay, we're on level 2 already, because if the levels are pretty short like this, that's not too bad. But I would imagine the last few levels get pretty tough. Okay, we got a jump. This looks exactly like the Eversax dribble, dribble challenge. With the uh, the red and white checkers. Okay. Good. That's a little scary. I I need to let stop, reset again. Where are we going? Okay, we're going left. I saw like the the arrow at the last second. The wall on the right kind of made me feel like maybe I should go left. But we're going bobbing and weaving here. Uh. We have to keep up with this thing? We definitely do. Can I make it though? No. And that level's long too. So if you fail it, you're going to run out a lot of time. Okay, we got to match up with this, this platform below me here. That seems pretty good. Okay, we don't have to jump. That's okay, though. What's happening here? Wait, what? Higher. Where's the next trampoline? What the heck? Uh, redirect? <laughs> okay. Alright, 30 seconds. I was hoping to maybe like bounce it off that middle part. If we can land this, it might actually not be that hard. Dang. These last few levels, I can see that this is where you get like 10 out of 10 is if you do like a really god run here 
off these last few levels. And that's it. 5.9. Not great, but that was that was actually pretty hard. We've got 25 shots. You have to hit the target on each shot. The target size will reduce every five shots. The setup for the shot changes every five shots. Okay, what does it mean by setup, though? Like, I guess the start of the shot. We'll see. This is the third one. Good. Oh, we're off to the side now. Okay, that's that counted. Nice. Decent. Now it's off to the very side. I've done plenty of shots like this in my in my in my days of Rocket League. I think I'm feeling pretty good for high score on this one. I might have missed. Okay, I jinxed myself. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, we're I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Decent. Also decent. What? What? Oh, we have one more. No, I missed. Okay, seven point six isn't bad either. Uh, you will you will be launched at supersonic speed every level. Each level can give you one point if you touch the ball and the timer is still green. In some levels, you can take bonus rings to gain seconds on the timer. Okay, we have ten boost. It was green. It was still green. Okay, we're good. Give it to me. It was still green. Okay, we're good. I don't know if we want to like double pop into these or like wave dash. Okay, that would have been good, I think. Oh, it's you have to really make that jump. My car has wobbled a little bit. No! So I don't understand. Is the one timer for the actual timer like... Oh, you can't jump on that one, I don't think. Um, is, is the timer for the level, like for the end here, or for the overall timer? Okay, we got it though. Huh. Well, I don't know if you need that moving platform. I'm, I'm like trying to see where I'm supposed to go next, but it seems a bit uncomfortable to go for that one. But I guess you don't want to use all your boosts there. I don't know if I can make that jump either. I, I could try though. I do a double pop maybe. With the boost. I don't know if I like that. We got a minute and seven here. Oh, I needed to use a little more boost. It's an interesting level. I like this one. I'm a little confused by that middle moving platform, though. I think that one, like, isn't necessary. Nice. Let's go. Okay. This seems fine. Oh! Okay, not the easiest. Oh, come on. No, <laughs> that's tough. That bottom one, that bottom platform is a bait, I think. I don't know where we want to land on that one, too. Oops. Oh, that's it. I got 5.0. Wow, that was not a lot of time to do that at all. Uh, you have to air dribble the ball into the ring. You have 2 minutes and 59 seconds to complete the 10 levels. Every meter you travel, okay, same, similar to the other dribble, we have to have 45 seconds on the timer. So two minutes once again, or two minutes 15 on the clock to get 10 out of 10. We have unlimited boosts. Okay, that's kind of nice. 
Does not seem hard at all so far. Clean. Give it an extra trampoline. I might have went too far here, maybe. No, we're good. All right, not bad at all. Is there one on the floor? No, there's not. We have to jump to this one. Seems comfortable so far. I'm already enjoying the uh, air dribble more than the dribble. Okay, where are we going here? I think I want to roll that, maybe. Yes. We have a pretty big trampoline here. I think this should hit it. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we don't want to hit it too far. It's probably good. All right. These, these levels are fun. I like these trampolines, too. I got to make sure I get underneath that. Oops. I'm wasting a lot of time here on this on this level. So once you like play this like once or twice, I think that'll be a lot. It'll be a lot easier to get a further along here. Because I'm making a lot of mistakes on levels that like later on, once I know the level, I would not make those mistakes. But this is really cool. I let the ball go first quite a bit so I can get under the ball like this. And that's how you beat this level. Cool. Oh, I like these levels. These are cool. These are very fun. Actually, one of my favorite things to do in Rocket League. Because they're very, like, they're very straightforward. I say that as I miss the ring. They're very, like, straightforward in how you play it. You just let the ball do the thing first and then let the car hit it afterwards. But it is very fun. Oh, it's going to hit. Is it going to hit? It is. There we go, and this should be good. Yeah, you gotta let the you gotta let the ball make the the, the trek first. Wait, what's happening here? We going to the right? Oh, we have to go around. Okay, I see. Oh, the okay. I need to turn off ball cam. That's much easier. Ball cam was messing with me. We have to go all the way up into the yeah. We just go up into the ring. That's it. I thought there maybe be like a trampoline or something. That's it. That's all the time I got. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see the time. That's honestly not, not too hard as long as I don't mess up that air drill part. But we still have like so many levels after that. You have 25 shots coming at you from different positions. Each shot you save gives you 0 0.4 points. Okay. Nice. What? That is not a lot of time to react. I'm gonna back off. Okay, I think I'm gonna just back up a little bit. Oh, we changed positions. No, I missed. Um, I forgot that we changed position after a few. That's not too bad though. What? Okay, that was easy. Good. This is so disorienting. What? That's <laughs> impossible. No, I, I keep changing positions. I don't know where I'm at. It's really disorienting. Okay, not bad at all. It does not give you a lot of time to react to where you're spawning. Oh, I missed that one. Not bad. Not bad either. <gasps> like... <laughs> Okay, I can't lie. I don't like I don't like not knowing where I'm spawning before the ball even like shows up. That's not that's not my favorite. Because you, your brain needs to like understand where you are and what position you're in before it even shoots at you, but it's shooting at you immediately. And I, my car, I can't, I'm still like having to look at my car. Oh, uh, you have to navigate through the obstacles in the cube and survive. Oh, so it's like hornet's nest. Bonus orbs will spawn for three seconds during the challenge. Every time you touch an orb, you gain 0 0.5 points. You have five attempts. Okay. okay. So there's black and white walls. What happened? Oh, bonus orb. Okay. I'm just going to focus on defending and play the bonus orbs if I get them. Like, so there's one on the, the one side here. I think it spawns like right here. Yeah.
I have no idea what's happening. I mean, like, that's just, like, <laughs> not going to be good unless I know what I'm doing. These are always hard to do the first time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got the bonus orb, but I'm going to die. I don't know what's happening. That's fast. That was decent, though. I mean, for a first read, I don't have no idea what's happening. Let's try that again. Let's get this orb. Nice. Was those windy things at some point? Yeah. Uh, I gotta get this one. Nope. And there's another one. What the heck? Was that one there before? Oh, I forgot about that. Gonna go over the top. What is that one? <laughs> There's 4.0. I mean, wait, why did I go to the beginning? Well, that was the whole thing. Okay, 46.9. Not the greatest score, but honestly, like, I don't feel like that was that bad. The last couple were kind of crazy, and uh, the run overall wasn't too bad. The scores got more and more disorienting as we went, or the levels got more disorienting, but I think that, like, I definitely on defense... I would like to have a little more time on, on realizing where I am, but maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> I don't know. But let me guys, let me know what you guys think. I definitely enjoy these. These are very good challenges. Um, let's go back to this cube thing real quick and try to do a little better. There we go. Back around. I don't know what the best way to do that is. If we want to go on this side. Not the best way to do that. Nope, definitely not the best way to do that. <laughs> Going in the front. We've already used like almost all the time we spent in the Olympics trying to ace this. And it, it, like I said, it's going to take a lot of practice to get used to this. I'd love to do a, a better run in the future. Oh, oops. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Definitely give it a try yourself. Um, it's on the Steam Workshop. Uh, if you're on Epic Games, I'm sure there's like a link for downloading it. For epic version because there are many ways to to play these maps on epic like my website if well, my website doesn't have other people's maps yet i'm trying to get that done the new map website should be should be out by now actually but uh these are a lot of fun i'm gonna definitely need a lot more practice with this until next time guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one